Dancers Knit in Dublin City. Uh, just popping in today to talk to you about needles and what type of needles we stock here in the shop. Uh, we have a mixture, obviously, of straight needles and we have clover and we have the Knit Pro Zings uh, all the way from 2 mil right up to, well there's a 20 there with a few missing ones in between. We also have the Zing Circulars, 40 lengths right through to the 100 length. And then we've got the uh, Knit Pro Interchangeable Needles. Now they have uh, the Birchwood tips or the Zing tips and then all the different lengths and I'll show you in a minute how they attach. So moving on down here now, we're going to go and see double pointed needles and crochet hooks as well, not forgetting the crocheters there among you. We have the clover hooks, which are really good, but they're a little bit like Marmite or Vegemite. You either love them or you don't. Uh, they have a lovely like non-slip feature here, uh, which is super for um, beginners as well as people maybe with a little bit of RSI in their wrists, so that not no twirling. So they're good. And then Nipro also have um, these beautiful ones. Ebony loves these ones. She's an Irish crochet designer. She loves the way that they can be kind of um, to pour, sand it down a little bit for left-handers as well. She says that they're really good, that you can use those ones. And they come in all sorts of sizes as well. Uh, the Waves, Knit Pro Waves, they're also got a rubber handle here, which is also good for non-slip. And then for the double pointed needles, we have the 60 centimeter length and the 20 centimeter length in the Zings, in the Clover, and also the Symphony from Knit Pro as well. The interchangeable needles uh, can be quite difficult, or not difficult, but it just annoying sometimes for people that don't you know using them first so you literally they just screw on as you would screw on any normal one like that but if you if you don't get a good grip on it you, you can't get it tight on so that's not going to go any good if you can undo it so this is the little key that comes in the packet with the needle stoppers and then you just insert the little key into the hole so now you can get purchase and now you can turn it and when you take it out you cannot undo it so I know that's on tight and I do that every time I check and to take it off you need to put it in again and then you can get purchased and do it so that's the trick there now the chiagus are amazing needles as well they have we have them in the long and short in the fixed look at these dinky ones here maureen who's holding the camera just loves these little as i call mickey mouse knitting needles but they're amazing for socks and sleeves and all things small in the round so they are very good and then we have also the longer ones as well now they do interchangeables as well uh, the same way of putting them on as I just showed you there, but they're surgical grade steel, they're lovely and pointy at the tips, so lace, uh, for working with lace they're absolutely excellent, my go-to. The only time I use anything like wooden is for, if something I've got working with is slippy like mohair or something that's like a mixture of silk and yak and anything slippy, I have to revert back to, to wood. So that's it for today. I hope uh, maybe some of you maybe learnt a little bit of something, but yay. Thank you very much for watching.